Hello, my name's Kronzi, and welcome to my Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. This is going to be probably sh shortish, and I'm, I may not be able to uh, make episodes very frequently just because Fallout 4 is coming out in three days. So I'll, I'll probably be <laughs> engrossed in that for a bit, but uh, hopefully... I'll be able to uh, continue this to the end. I mean, I'm probably not going to be doing the entire game because it's a bit large to do for a video series, but I'll do my best to cover as much as I can, or at least the most interesting bits for your sake. So you're seeing here my character creation. I think the... Uh, I tend to spend a bit of time working on this because I enjoy getting a little bit immersed and making the faces look a bit nicer is kind of enjoyable to me. The type of character this is going to be will be mostly small guns and sneak. Just because I like that sort of sniping play style. I like to have high speech, although I'm not going to be taking much charisma here. I like to run what you're seeing here, which is pretty much no charisma, but high intelligence because it allows you to have good skills, or useful skills, I think. I can I usually tag speech to make up for it, which I'm doing here, as well as my guns and lockpick. Those are two other important skills. I'm taking wild wasteland and good natured. Normally, I'd go skilled good natured, but I think it'd be more entertaining for me to take uh, Wild Wasteland. I've already looted everything of importance in this house, so I'm basically free to go. And, uh... I recommend as soon as you finish the, uh... Doc Mitchell's house, that you go straight to the Good Springs Schoolhouse, because there's a few items you can get there straight away if you have the right stats for it. And, uh, that'll help you quite a lot, actually. Save you some time as well. As opposed to going to Sunny first. Here I'm just punching the nymphs as I like to do. <laughs> Very exciting. I have several mods installed and one of them will disable the mini games for the lock picking and hacking essentially so that I don't have to toil through it every time. This sort of fast-forward format's likely only going to be applicable to the first episode just because the tutorial's a bit droll and I wanted to get through it as quickly as possible. So this video's going to be pretty short, hopefully. So after the schoolhouse, I recommend coming through the back door there because it allows you to get straight to that computer without anyone seeing you. I'm being detected right now, but it's from Cheyenne the dog. And uh, I guess we're on good terms or something because... It's not alerting its master about me. Repair magazine there, very helpful. So if you choose to do a tutorial with Sunny, at the very least you have to do this, but uh, then you can just skip out if you want. But I'm gonna do the rest of it because it, she gives you a lot of ammo, which is nice. So you may be noticing I'm moving significantly faster than her. That's because I'm using, or I have my weapon holstered. And she has hers drawn, which means she's moving a lot slower. Like, it, it's really... If you're... In general, if unless you have a pistol or other one-handed weapons, you want to put your weapon away while you're trying to move, because you'll move a lot faster. Making a quick save here to make sure I don't die. Geckos can be a bit finicky. The, uh you're seeing on the screen is the result of bullet time, which is part of the Project Nevada mod. I like to use it. Okay, it goes for pretty easy enemies. I'm only taking this much damage because I don't have any armor. And I have a mill bullet rusty. So you'll see this woman down here is being attacked by geckos, and if you Actually, if you don't get here in time, they'll kill her. And you'll be able to loot her corpse if you want. But uh, if she lives, 
make sure to talk to her because she'll give you some reputation with uh, good strings. Which is basically, reputation is nice because it can give you discounts on vendors and help you with quests and stuff. It's a good thing to have um, a decent level of with most people. Taking a quick detour here to uh, clear out the entrance of Good Springs Cave. If you go in, there's more coyotes and a duffel bag with some low tier but still kind of useful loot. If you go too far away from the uh, starting area, you'll get a prompt to rebuild your character if you want to. And I chose not to because I'm pretty happy with how my character currently is. Put a point in agility there through intense training. Uh, I have Project Nevada Rebalance, which means I'm going to be getting a perk every level, just like Fallout 3. Fallout New Vegas, you get a perk every other level, so I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> I like to be nice and perky. So coming up here, always a good idea. You're going to have to come up here later if you continue the tutorial. There's a rock flower that's pretty much the only one in a mile radius. The other ingredients for Sony's survival thing are over at the schoolhouse. There's a couple. Of, there's a few Zanda roots out at the, one of the doors. So after you finish the Sony's tutorial thing, you want to go talk to Trudy and uh, ask about the people who attacked you. And for a little bit of bonus, you can mention the radio after uh, she mentions it. So you, want, so you can fix it for her, and you'll get some experience and some caps, potentially I think 20 if you pass a barter check. Anyway, she'll tell you to go to see, um, you, you, saw, you oversaw her conversation there with Joe Cub, and Joe Cub is basically threatening the whole town if they don't give up Ringo. So you go talk to Ringo, and... Offer your help, and he'll tell you to go round up basically everyone in Good Springs. Everyone you can, at least. The number one person you want is going to be Trudy, because she'll give you um, more just bodies to have around and help take bullets for you and whatnot, do some damage. There's a few things typically you can get here that are useful. Not too many, but I mean, some ammo. There's, um, cigarette cartons are good to grab, just because they can give you a decent amount of money. Ringo actually caught me grabbing that, uh, that pack of ammunition there. So after you talk to him, you want to head back to the saloon and talk to Sunny. And pretty much whatever you say, she'll go with you. She's pretty, uh, nice about that. So again, you want to get Trudy, at least. And she actually has two checks you can pass, which is a speech and a sneak. Both 25. All, all the speech checks here are, I think, 25. You can pass a barter check with um, Chet here to get some leather armor. And uh, Easy Pete will give you some dynamite. Doc Mitchell gives you um, doctor bags and stim packs. And I think that's all you can get. The enemies you're going to be fighting aren't that tough, so you don't have to worry too much about it, especially if you're on lower difficulty. Varmint rifle's enough to take all of them down, usually. So you mentioned that Sony's with us. That's all he. That's all the confidence he needs. And uh, he can go fight the Powder Gangers, so... If you actually play your cards right, you can come out of this quest with a high enough reputation with the Powder Gangers that they won't attack you on sight, which is nice. See, I haven't actually gone to danger yet. I'm only on caution, because I've I'm just picking them off at a large distance. Now I'm in danger. And I don't think I actually kill any of them while I'm detected, so or fully detected at least. I'm gonna let the townspeople do that while I do some damage. Yeah, I'm in some brief frame rate loss there. My computer's not that great. <laughs> But a uh, pretty easy fight. If you really need to, you can use some sarsaparilla or stim packs to heal up. And that pretty much concludes this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll be leaving this place and uh, getting some areas around Good Springs. Thanks for watching.